Welcome to the demo of the MIME Inspector. I've got an example page here showing it in operation. And at the top, I've got two checkboxes bound to the two properties that control whether to show uh, the headers and the content. The blue box contains the actual control, so everything within it is uh, from the MIME Inspector control. And the subject file upload and input rich text fields are bound to a document. At the moment, it's a new document, but I can load uh, previous examples from the bottom and then I've got some buttons just to decide to save. So if to look at this actual X page markup of this uh, example page, you can see the, the domino document, the checkboxes, and here is the MIME inspector control. And uh, I'm just controlling those properties with some view scope variables. And then just as you would expect, normal uh, controls to make out the rest of the page. So if we were to do an example, let's write some text. Hello, it is Tuesday. Uh, and if we were to save this, uh, now we can see the MIME Inspector output is updated and we have uh, no attachments or images to save. But we do have a new MIME entity that's a text HTML entity. Um, if we'd like to see the headers and the content of that, and update it. Now we can see the MIME headers and the content is within a grey box and there's a blue end delimiter so that you know where the white space uh, finishes. Um, and then if we were to upload uh, an attachment, oh let's do an image first, we'll put an image, an embedded image into the rich text and we will save that. And now we can see, I'll just get rid of the content because it's a little bit distracting because it comes out the binary. So now we see we have an embedded image to save, yep, because it hasn't actually been saved to the document yet. And it's now underneath a multi-part related uh, parent MIME entity with the two text and image. And if we upload a file attachment, we will see that it also has attachments to save and it's now put the related underneath another new parent mixed. And um, that's pretty much uh, how we can uh, analyze the content of a MIME field to figure out what's going on. Um, I used it uh, extensively during my um, external facing webmail because lots of different types of MIME content came in. And for example, if we load up another example with a few different types of images, you can see uh, some of these are uh, attached in different ways. So there's only one actual embedded image here. And to figure out why the other ones aren't there, um, you can do some show content. And just have a look in here and see that there's some data URLs and there's some uh, relative links and things like that. So um, I hope the MIME Inspector is useful to you. Uh, without it, you would usually have to be doing things like uh, right clicking document properties or if you have um, ScanEasy, that's also a tool that can help you uh, look into the content. But uh, if this works for you, then uh, I hope it helps. Okay, thanks and enjoy.